In this video, we are going to talk about developing standard formulas by which elementary functions may be differentiated. So we will use these standard formulas so that we could save time by we could save time in solving our derivative of y with respect to x or any uh, variable for that matter. Uh, we don't have to get the limit every time we want to get this derivative. So let's start with the derivative of a constant. So let's say we have y is equal to c, where c is a constant. Now, if we take a look, if we will uh, get the graph of this one, we will graph y is equal to c. So this is our partition plane. And if y is equal to c, then therefore that graph is simply a straight horizontal line. This is y is equal to c. Let's say this is c, any number. This is any number on the uh, y axis. So what can we say about this? And what can we say about this uh, graph? It's a straight horizontal line. It doesn't change. And we know that the derivative of y with respect to x is the change. The derivative of y with respect to x, we have already established that in our uh, previous video that this derivative of y with respect to x is the change of y with respect to x. So we can observe here that it doesn't change. The line has no slope, therefore it doesn't change. So if y is equal to c, then therefore the derivative of y with respect to x is simply equal to zero. So that is a, a formula that we need to remember. The derivative of a constant is equal to zero. Let's go ahead to the derivative of a sum. So let's say that I have y is equal to u plus v. So I have, where u and v are uh, functions of x. So let's say, so to get that, the derivative of y with respect to x, I have y plus delta y, similar to our five-step uh, five step process of getting the derivative. So, u will be u plus uh, delta u, and v would be v plus delta v. Now, we solve for delta y. So, we have u plus delta u plus v plus delta v minus y. But y is equal to u, fl u plus v. So what will be cancelled here? I now have delta y u plus delta u plus v plus delta v minus u plus v. So I can cancel. This should be minus. Pardon that. So I can now cancel u and v. So I would be left with delta y is equal to delta u plus delta v. Now if I divide the whole equation through delta x, I would obtain this equation. And if I will get the limit, I will now have the derivative of y with respect to x. So let's go ahead and take the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. This one too. The limit of delta u over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. And the limit of delta v over delta x as delta x approaches to 0. So our delta y over delta x as delta x, over, uh, as delta x approaches to 0 will be the derivative. That is the definition. And it will follow suit here for the first and second terms here. The limit of delta u over delta x as delta x approaches to zero is delta u is a derivative of u with respect to x. And of course, it will uh, follow the same pattern here, the same logic. Delta v or uh, the, the limit of delta v over delta x as delta x approaches to zero is the derivative of v with respect to x. So this is now our 
derivative of a sum. So what does this say us? What does uh, this tell us? The derivative of a uh, sum or the derivative of two function or any number of function is equal is equal to the sum of their derivatives. So let me write that down. Let me write that down. Our uh, conclusion, the derivative of the sum of uh, any number, any number of functions, functions is equal to the sum of their derivatives. Okay, so let's go ahead to our third standard formulas. Standard formula. So for our third uh, proof or our third formula is the derivative of a product. So let's say I have y is equal to u times v. So this is a product of two functions, u and v. And uh, again, we will uh, say that u and v are functions of x. So if I will get the derivative, so y plus delta y is equal to quantity u plus delta u times uh, v plus delta v. Delta y will be equal to, so let's go ahead and uh, distribute or multiply these uh, two binomials together. So I have uv, uv, and then plus u delta v plus v delta u plus delta u times delta v. And then I will transpose y to the other side and y is equal to uv, uv. So I can cancel uv. Okay. So next step, I will divide the equation through delta x. So I have delta y over delta x is equal to u times delta v over delta x plus v times delta u over delta x plus uh, delta u times delta v over delta x. So before we proceed here, let's uh, first think this through. So our next step is to get the limit, right? To get the limit, and then it would result to the derivative. The, li the limit of uh, delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. Let's get the limit of that. And that would be the derivative of y with respect to x. Now here, u and v are... Uh, separate functions or functions no so we'll just get the derivative of or the the limit of delta v over delta x as delta x approaches to zero and here the limit of delta u over delta x as delta x approaches to zero so the limit of that will result to as i've said in the previous example the limit of uh, delta v over delta x as delta x over as delta x approaches to zero will be the derivative of v with respect to x plus v times so here this will be the derivative of u with respect to x so how about the last term so for the last term let's uh, get the limit let's first get the limit of uh, delta v what is the limit of delta v delta v delta v as delta v or as delta x approaches to zero delta x approaches to zero so to solve that solve this problem uh, let's just say that we multiply 
delta v with delta x over delta x. So then we, uh, we still get uh, as delta x approaches to zero. So we can we see here that I have delta v over delta x, and if I will uh, solve, uh, I will uh, what is delta v over delta x? The limit of delta v over delta x as delta x approaches to zero is actually derivative of v with respect to x, and this one, if I will solve the limit as delta x approaches to zero, will be zero. So therefore, the limit of delta v as delta x approaches to zero is zero. So that is important in our third term uh, because here we have delta v and we now know that delta v, delta v is equal to, or the limit of delta v as delta x approaches to zero is equal to zero. So I can just simplify here. I have the limit of delta u over delta x as delta x approaches to zero times the limit of delta v as delta x approaches to zero. So this one, this one is zero, and this one is uh, the derivative of u with respect to x. So times zero. So altogether, that will be this will be this term. This last term will be zero. So we now have the derivative of our product. The derivative of uh, y with respect to x in this case. So that would be the derivative of a product is u dv u derivative of v with respect to x plus v derivative of u with respect to x. So what's, what does that tell us? It tells us, it tells us that the derivative of a product or the derivative of two functions is equal to the uh, first function multiplied by the, by the derivative of the second plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first so just remember this or uh, in some books or in some ref the references uh, this would just be y prime is equal to u v prime plus v u prime okay so this this is a more uh, this is a simpler this is a simpler notation u v prime plus uh, v u prime so next we go ahead with our fourth proof, our fourth standard formula, which is the derivative of a quotient. So let's uh, say again that we have quotient u over v. So what's our u over v? What's the derivative of u over v? So again, we apply y plus delta y is equal to u plus delta u over v plus delta v so let's uh, go ahead here and subtract y u plus delta u over v plus delta v i'm sorry this should be that should be delta v so minus y y is u over v. So delta y will now be, so it will have a LCD of uh, v times v plus delta v. And uh, the first uh, part of this would be u plus delta u times v minus u times v plus delta v. So let's simplify our numerator there. We will have uv plus v times delta u minus uv minus u times delta v 
over B times V plus delta V. So let's continue that here. I have delta Y is equal to, as you can see, I can cancel out UV. So here I now have uh, V delta U minus U delta V over V plus or V times V plus delta V. So let's say I will now uh, divide through delta X the whole equation divide through delta X delta X so here divide delta X okay so we now know we now know that the limit of uh, the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approaches to zero we will now get that and here uh, delta x I can distribute delta x here to uh, the terms in the numerator I could mathematically do that and it will become uh, like this, the limit of delta u over delta x minus the limit of, or minus u, minus u times the limit of uh, delta v over delta x as delta x approaches to zero. And then I have here V times V plus the limit of delta V as delta V approaches to zero. Okay. So uh, simplify further. So we now have V times this one will be. Uh, the derivative of u with respect to x minus u, this one will be the derivative of b with respect to x, and then the denominator. We now we already ha I have already proven that this is equal to zero, so it will be simply v squared, and I now have the derivative of y with respect to x, so. This is now our uh, fourth formula, which is the derivative of a const, uh, of a quotient. So the derivative of u over v, okay. So in simple terms, the derivative of u over v is equal to v u prime minus u v prime over v squared, or in some books, it would say that the derivative, the derivative of a of a quotient of two functions, is equal to the denominator. So the denominator is v times the derivative of the numerator, which is u, minus the numerator times the, der the derivative of the denominator all over v squared, which is the square of the denominator. 